This is my 10 brick forge. 10 fire bricks. And I added this one piece here. So it's very easy and inexpensive to make. The bricks were about a buck fifty a piece, so the whole thing's about fifteen dollars. This is my oxy acetylene torch that I'm running magna gas on, magna gas two, with this rosebud tip, which I got for fifteen dollars at Harbor Freight. And so basically, I just lay the bricks out and. Um, yeah, there's four here, two here, uh, I've got one more here, so that's seven, eight, and then nine, and then there's ten over here, and I just have an extra brick lying around, that's just to hold it, and it's basically a tunnel with a little slot in the middle and this way I can put my metal into it heat it up cherry red and then I can manipulate the metal and here I bent this around a little bit when it was cherry red on the vise and it works very fast when using Magna Gas 2 as fuel I'm going to be able to try propane as fuel maybe even oxyacetylene I still have a little bit left I haven't used oxyacetylene in about three years now. Well, maybe, I don't know, over two anyway, I think. I just use magma gas. Um, so, that's the uh, stove here. Let me see if I can uh, fire it up. Well, before I fire it up, let me show you this side of it. This is the other side. This is where the torch goes, obviously. Look at how hot this brick got. It's kind of gray here. And, uh, and you see it brown a little bit from the carbon of the magna gas too. But once I turn the oxygen on, that carbon disappears and then the intense heat of magna gas, oxy magna gas, just burns it off. And then it makes this fire brick glow like crazy. And here's a piece of rebar that before I made this, I just had heated this up with the rosebud torch, put it on the anvil that's on my uh, my vise, and pounded it with the hammer, and I flattened it out. You can see that there. Uh, I'll keep working on this piece of angle iron. I'm going to make a little uh, scoop for my rocket stove to scoop the ashes out, and uh, you know, mostly just to play around with it play around with the uh, forge and metalwork. Okay, here I turn on the gas. And then this, I'm going to stick into the uh, into the tunnel.
You can see how red it is. Now I can manipulate it and kind of bend it as I want. Hold on, I'm going to do this again. I'm doing this one-handed here for reasons I'll explain later. I'm going to leave the top off so you can see how fast this thing heats up. I bent that on the uh, vise. Yeah, I should have a video of the vise, but it bends really easily, and look at how hot that is. Now I'm going to just shut this off, and we'll see how long that flames, uh, that quick glows from the flame. I'm going to uh, shut off the oxygen, and you'll see a lot of uh, carbon coming off. Look at that, uh, that like half moon of whiteness, so it just burns the carbon right away, so hot. Okay, there we go. Look at that, look at that, uh, fire brick glow.
keeps glowing. That's real time right there. I gotta play around with it, but it looks like once I get the uh, fire brick hot, the thermal mass of the fire brick um, is retained. And if I put the steel next to it, then there's heat coming from the fire brick and also coming from the flame. It seemed like the, uh, the rebar got hotter faster doing that. I'm going to play around. This, what's cool about this simple forge is you can kind of make it the size you want. I want to make uh, barn door hinges. This piece I'm playing with, I need, I'm going to use thicker metal for this, but uh, I easily did this in like two seconds. And uh, And this is going to be my little scraper for the rocket stove that I just made. And I'll have to cut it after this. Uh, this is the rocket stove I made a long time ago with uh, Magnagas 1, which is antifreeze based. Magnagas 2 is uh, that I have is waste vegetable oil based. And it's even hotter. But I welded this all together, and the welds have been holding for this thin sheet metal. But it'll just, that's the opening right there, and that's, I'll use that scraper to scrape out the ash as I run the rocket stove. Alright, that's, uh, that's a good little vid right there.